Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And it's Halloween week here at Uncle Matt's. We're reading scary stories about monsters. And I thought today we'd read something about a dragon. Last week, if you remember, was Dragon's Week at Uncle Matt's. This week it's Halloween's week. But we, um, we read a whole bunch of stories about dragons, but we didn't read about this one. It's Do Not Bring Your Dragon to Recess by Julie Gaspin and illustrated by Andy Elkerton. And uh, last Friday, so today's Friday, but last Friday we read about Do Not Bring Your Dragon to the Library. This is a series of books. You can find more books on dragons and Do Not Bring Your Dragons to Places by the same authors. But today we're going to read about Do Not Bring Your Dragon to Recess. Probably very wise to do that. Well, I should mention this story was copyright in 2018. Are you ready? Here we go. All morning, you worked and given your best. You wrote, you read, you took a math test. It's now time for recess, your well-earned break. But before you head out, please avoid this mistake. Yeah. Do not bring your dragon to recess. The rules of the playground are hard for a beast. Will He'll break the first one as soon as released. He'll run down the hall, shout to his friends. He'll bump into the principal with his pokey rear end. So, do not bring your dragon to recess. Out on the monkey bars, things won't improve. Your dramatic dragon will ruin your groove. She cries and she cries. Her arms are too small. If she hangs from her tail, the whole line will stall. So, do not bring your dragon to recess. Maybe he'll vow to keep his feet on the ground and volunteer to push the merry-go-round. He'll start out slow, but soon he will run. Then the ride becomes more scary than fun. Scary. Spooky. So, do not bring your dragon to recess. You might consider a game of Foursquare. Your dragon's a good sport. She always plays fair. But dragons are huge fans of these sorts of games. And when dragons are excited, out comes the flames. Aww. So, do not bring your dragon to recess. I see what you're saying, and I admit to you that a dragon at recess could create a real zoo. But my dragon is smart. He can learn all the rules. He'll listen to teachers when he's playing at school. He'll be patient and take turns. He'll share all the toys. He'll be respectful and kind to all girls and boys. I know he can do it. You just have to say yes. May I please bring my dragon to play at recess? In my mind, dragons are all fire and wings. I didn't know they were interested in slides and swings, but I believe everyone deserves his or her chance to run and to climb 
to chase and to dance. So if your dragon's respectful, well then I guess... He's more than welcome at our school recess. The end. A well-behaved dragon. Who would imagine that? Well, that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.